Konnichiwa, YouTubers. This is Red Stock, straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of 2002 New Year Special. This is Cybertron Convoy, or as we Westerners call it, Optimus Prime. This is made from Takata. Before they were Takata, told me, and it comes with a matrix of matrix of leadership, which I enjoy. Let me show you the box. 2002 New Year Special. It's a big, it's bigger than the normal box because it has actually extra stuff. And I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, it has six modes for some reason. I'll show you. There's the iconic G1. You've seen it before. Takara. Here it is from the top. Transformers. And I'll show you the side of the box. Huge box. And you can see good old Optimus in the background. Uh, there's that iconic G1 scene that we know and love. No stat sheet. Good old Optimus Prime. And it has four formations. And what I have right here in the back is apparently formation two with the combat deck. And hey, it's all right. But let's see what other things we got. Yeah, there's other formations too, including the combat deck. It comes with a lot of extras. And the cool thing is it has extras that the G1 did not. Like the Matrix of Leadership, I don't recall that. There's a few things that I don't... I didn't get the sticker sheet, which is I'm upset about. But the extras include this little figure. A G.I. Joe and a mouse pad. And a second gun and a chain. So normally you would have this, a sticker sheet, roller, the fuel station, and yeah, the cab. Why not? Alright, let's see what else we got. There is that weird mood. And I don't know why, I li why it's like that. And of course it pops out. Let me show you because one thing I like is the translucent light of the combat deck. Y'all know this is iconic. I'm not going to review this as much simply because, hey, Optimus Prime is cool. What hasn't been said already hundreds of times before? This is uh, made back in 2002, so it's a G1 reissue. I love the fact that you got rubber tires. Rubber tires, how cool is that? And if you don't like the little roller or the combat deck popping out, which I really dig, it opens up. How, I mean, how cool is that? I wish I had a little figurine, like a little Micro Man, that uh, this figure was known for. Man, it's just, it's cool. I never, I'm gushing because I've never had a G1 Optimus Prime, and it's extremely windy here today. As of late, it's just been windy, but who cares? I got Optimus Prime, I never had it as a kid. Now look at that thing. Awesome. Okay. Wow, man, I'm just gushing. And extremely windy, but let's still make this happen. One thing is that I might as well pop this out because you know it's coming, right? Uh, man, what am I doing? Yeah, it's kind of finicky, but there we go. You just gotta be gentle. And one thing, I wonder if it pops out here. No, it should hold fine. There's the combat deck. There's a G1 Optimus Prime. Boy, pretty awful, but that's okay. Okay, combat deck, G1 Optimus Prime. Oh, I forgot, here's the extras that you got. You get roller. How cool is that? And in addition to that, you get the two fists. You get this Cybertron, the ax from the battle two fists because let's face it you're not going to be able to form them without it and a chain for the matrix of leadership again matrix of leadership plays an important part it has a gun but for some odd reason you get a second gun and I don't know why get this cool mouse pad four missiles which you actually can fire from the combat deck right over here. I'm not going to uh, demonstrate. And this weird G.I. Joe-esque action figure. Yeah, I'm just moving it because it's got die cast ball joints here. It has a knee articulation. Nothing on the shoulders, but that's about it. A neat little figure. Yeah, I just threw it in. All right, I believe that's everything. I've shown you everything. You got the combat deck, you got roller. One thing I do want to point out is, let's stand that bad boy up. There we go. 
so you can take a better look at the uh, combat deck center there. So if you want to recreate that scene, the cab, again, one thing I just wanted to show you as a close-up. One thing I really dig is the, wheel, the wheels. They're made of rubber, and if you look close, it says Desert Dock on it. What does it say here? Formula. So it's just, I love this. The, sh the stacks are a little taller than usual because Japanese people don't care how short the stacks are. I love the red, the die cast, it's just iconic, the rub symbol, which is cold outside, so I won't be able to see it, but just beautiful looking details. Let's go ahead and transform this guy so we can get you all these features. All right, look, you've seen this before, right? This is not the first time you've seen this. If you have, oh well, I'm not going to explain it, but transforming this guy is like beautifully simple. And I'm just going to put the fists over here, and if you wanted, you can recreate that scene, that iconic battle scene with the axe, which I just thought that was awesome. I love this clear form, and if you want to, you can put the little matrix in his chest. It's not really, it doesn't really stay there that well. But you can, if you wanted to, recreate that scene. Think maybe if I put it upside down, there we go, even better. <laughs> yeah. Till all are one. Okay. There we go. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, no matrix of leadership. Articulation as you have, have you figured out swivels on the shoulder has that single spring on the elbow and wrist swivel. Uh, no waist articulation in the knees bend. So this is G1 as you like it. It can dual win guns and again I don't know why they gave me two guns but you get them. So yeah you want to go John Woo and I really am not a big fan of his ape arms. I never was. But. And you're going to have to put the arms. Or the sorry. The guns at a weird angle. So he can hold them. Never was a big fan of that. And if you want to recreate that scene. There we go. Combat deck. Definitely was meant for. Repairing. There we go. Move that out of the way. There we go. So if you wanted to do that, how cool is that? How cool is that? And of course it has a fuel pump and uh, different ports. I don't know exactly where you would fuel. Uh, I guess in the front back or something. But yeah. Whoa, one thing I forgot to mention is that This thing does come with a, with a necklace. Now this thing isn't the greatest thing in the world here. But if you wanted to wear the Matrix of Leadership as a necklace, you certainly can. Great gift for your loved one, right? <laughs> Alright, size comparison. Uh, make sure he doesn't fall down. There you go. So he was definitely slightly bigger than modern, what do you call that, deluxe toys. There is. There is Junior there that I want to show you. And let's see if I get G.I. Joe without tipping over. Awesome. So just as a size comparison, see if we can get everybody in the shot there. That's awesome. So yeah, definitely G.I. Joe size, definitely taller than deluxe size. All right, that's all I got, YouTubers. And if you want to see more details, I, I, I got a little bit more. Let's show you the combat deck. After all, it's awesome. I showed you Roller, right? He rolls. Show you the combat deck. The stickers are already applied. I love the little hose. It comes with these two little pieces, the hose. With the hose is rubber, and you can see it's beginning to crack. 
uh, combat deck. I already showed you the Microman figure, the crane. The crane does have a little pincer and this little satellite looking thing. So yeah, neat. Awesome. Get it if you can find it. I don't know if you can find these anymore. Alright, that's all I got YouTubers and I'll catch y'all next time.